this is a little pre-intro um, I'm gonna use being marvelous designer 2 uh, application and ZBrush and before I even get started I'm gonna be using this plug in here with called the Q Mesher guides here this is version C uh, Saturday September 8th I had to do a little bug fix so I did version C on uh, September 8th so if you downloaded version C September 7th or earlier you know um, just re-download it okay um, if you need to find out where these plugins at just check my videos and you'll find this plugin you can try so let's get started the next section all right uh, I'm gonna show you a little demonstration with marvelous designer 2 and this plugin here and it's called the Master guide this is gonna be really simple and really basic that way it don't be so confusing so we're open this window up and this hoodie come from bang from marvelous designer 2 and I'm gonna show you the settings that you need to do when you export the OBJ when you get ready to export it you will uncheck select all then you will select cloth shape only which is this pattern over here and very important to check the unified UV coordinates all right, there's other settings down here. I left everything at default, and I'm going to bring this into ZBrush. Okay, I got this OBJ in. I imported it through here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and just get a clone of this really quick. So we're going to clone this here, and uh, first thing we want to do is we want to save this. All right, and. Uh, you can see where the UVs are at on the other one, so when it was laid out, I'll just actually just show you really quick. We'll morph the UVs. These will kind of be upside down here, so um, we could fix that, but uh, I'm really not going to go into this, so this is really the pattern right here. So let's just get this back here, and we want to, those are where the seams are at, you know. This is kind of where I want my seams to be at when I cure meshes. So then we'll press the UV guides here. And it's going to put, uh, we'll press always OK. And it's going to put guides where the seams are at. And I want this, I want my key remesher to uh, follow these. Typically, uh, horizontally and vertically, it does a really good job. And uh, the only problem I would probably see would be more likely right here in the hoodie here. It probably wouldn't follow very good. So let's close all this up here and. Uh, we want to make sure our X cemetery is on, so press the X key on the keyboard. And we're going to go to geometry here. And we're going to go to Q measure. We're, we can leave auto mask on, it works pretty good. And uh, we got this option for the target polygon count. Um, 10 would probably be alright. This is If you go too low, it, I mean, it won't work as good. So you want something like a medium base. Uh, uh, model so you can you know if you want to re-sculpture it so once all that's there and then we got this uh, curve stiffness slider and that's gonna depend on how much I want this uh, curve to follow once it Q remeshes it I want to go quite a bit I wouldn't go to 100 but I'll go to 99 or somewhere around there then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to press the Q remesh right here keep guides so I want to keep a mesh over these guides one more time. Let's take a look at this. Um, like I said, I want to probably keep a mesh this over again, but uh, I won't know until really I, after I look at the model and look around and make sure everything's all right. Um, actually, right here, it doesn't look too bad. Um, normally, I automatically just do it twice because it seems to help everything out. You can go probably three times, but... Um, Two times is usually good enough. If you go any more than two or three times, it could mess things up. So I'm going to pause the video and let this finish up. Okay, it's finished, and um, um, you need to examine it. I mean, it looks good here for if I want to sculpture it. And if I look right here, was this one area where I was looking at where the hoodie's at? I hold the control key down, and so I can see that little line right there, and it's following really good on it. So everything looks good to me there. And we'll just click here to remove the guides here. You can draw your own guides out if you want to. You know, I mean, it's real simple there, but with the Q remesh guides there. So my next step is I want to uh, go ahead and I want to append the original one here. All right. Now, if we turn solo on, 
the one that is selected will only show so if I select down here this is the original one and this one right here let me turn on the spray property to double so we can see the back of that hoodie there I probably want to give this at least uh, I don't know one subdivision level might want to go two or three well I'll go I'll just do two two will be fine and need to check around it because we're going to project all so I know on most cases if I leave the distance slider at default it won't project very well in certain areas so if I select here and give it a second uh, it missed quite a bit you can see right here so let's just control Z this I just normally crank it up pretty high so and it did a pretty good job there if there's any spots you can kind of smooth them out or whatever you want to do now we bring this down to the lowest subdivision level and let's turn on the poly frames and there's our hoodie with a good topology on it and if I crank this up you'll be able to see it brings back everything Alright, this is just kind of basic to get you up and running, but anyway, I think it's going to wrap it up, and thank you very much.